Hello coaches, welcome back to another Modern Soccer Coach Breakdown. We've had a massive response for the pre-season exercises. A lot of coaches asking for some more ideas as the days count down to the players coming back. So we're going to break this one up into transitional exercises that you can use for pre-season training. Why are transitional exercises so beneficial? They're fast, they're intense, they're competitive and they're enjoyable to do in the training sessions. But are all transitional exercises the same? Well, sometimes they can be quite similar in attack, defend, attack, defend, attack, defend. Today we're going to challenge that and look for a little bit more quality or a little bit more game realism or just a little bit more challenge in those exercises. If you enjoy it, as always, please give it a like and a subscribe. If you haven't had a look at the free PDF, on the Modern Soccer Coach website, please give it a download, the link is below. And if you enjoy the tactical content, please check out the recent 442 Diamond webinar that we did. Again, the link is below. Okay, transitional exercises. Let's go for my three favourite. Okay, so this first one is a 2v2 that develops into a 4v3 and changes the picture slightly in the second phase. It's a traditional start, similar to ones you've seen before, 2v2. When that ball is finished, however, one of the red players comes off the blue line and it replicates a transition with a forward pass into a centre forward and then you create the overload from there. This is a challenging one because the second picture can change the conditions of the game completely. As always, if the opponents win the ball, you can add an extra transition as they go to the other goal. But I really like this because it's got a traditional vertical flow of the game and then it's got an up, back and through picture, which... Players are always going to need those different types of transitions and experience in those different looks as to how to open up and how to unlock opportunities in the transition. You play three minute sets and you always rotate the team so they get experience in having the overload in different aspects of the game. Okay, second game. Again, this is a different setup. You've got a 1v1 in both attacking zones and then you've got a middle zone and you start with a 2v1. Goalkeeper plays the ball into the middle zone. The 2v1 takes advantage of the overload and it develops into a 3v2 into the attacking zone. Obviously, they're looking to score. After the attack, one blue player leaves, one blue player stays in the forward position and then one blue player has to drop back into the central zone. Two red players then drift into the middle and then it continues on the other side. You've got the overload in the central area and then you've got the 3v2 to go. Once players get used to the rotations, which can take a couple of minutes, this moves really, really quickly. There's a ton of decisions. You've got the transition that they've got to solve in the initial phase. Plus, there's a real opportunity for players to communicate with one another in those rotations, which again can develop that communication, that chemistry that you're going to need to work on during preseason as well. Okay, the third and final one, one of my favourites. It's a 2v2 situation and then you finish off with a central transition. So all players start on one side. Red's on the inside, blue's on the outside. The blue outside player starts the exercise with a ball to a coach who simply sets the ball for a first-time cross. The other three players get in the box. The blue team are looking to score. And if they win the race, they've got a really good chance of finishing from close range. But immediately following that chance, the goalkeeper then plays a ball to a red player and it's a 2v2 the other way. Again, there's a physical component to this here. If they play quickly and effectively, they can also take advantage of the 2v1 before the crossing player recovers into a position. Again, there's high levels of intensity here, but again, you've got different looks in terms of a cross and a finish and then a central transition. So it's not just the same thing over and over again. Love this one. So there you have it coaches, just some ideas around how to make transitional exercises as beneficial and as relative to your game model as you can. Again, most game models are going to prioritise decision making and looking to add that into pre-season as well. So teams want to have the intensity and the tempo, but also the quality in that there. And I think that's why it's important when you're designing a transitional exercise it's not just 2v2, v2, 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 v2. Those exercises can be beneficial, but they can be quite monotonous. Attack, defend, attack, defend. I think if you add that decision-making variable, you can change the environment or you can challenge awareness. And that's the key to transitions in games. It's not just a case of go, go, go. Yes, that's important. 
but quality and awareness and being a step ahead in terms of seeing the picture and being able to execute technically, those play big, big roles and ultimately will decide whether a shot is scored or a shot is blocked on the defensive end as well. So exposing players to those types of decisions and those scenarios that are related to the game, really, really important. In addition, what's great about them, they are competitive, they're enjoyable, it's played at a real intensity, so you get that physical work out of it as well. And just to go back, the communication aspect that as a coach, you can maybe set up the organization and you can take a step back and maybe the players can lead the communication aspect and how they organize their teams in those rotations and get themselves set for the next one. Really good transitional exercises in pre-season. Big, big fan of them, obviously. Um, if you enjoy this here, please give it a like and a subscribe. If you're looking for more tactical information, maybe you're looking at a new system or you're looking at maybe some new ideas for how to set your team up, please go ahead and check out the 442 Diamond webinar that we recently did, A Modern Soccer Coach. It is on the link below in the bio. It's about 90 minutes of breakdowns. You've got different build-up pictures. You've got different pressing pictures, different ways you can utilize the diamond, and then a Q&A with coaches as well. Again, it's available on the link below. If you enjoy the work and you want to support what we're doing and you want to keep it going, it's always appreciated. So thanks so much for your support. I will see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>